So this uh, past week, I think it was uh, Sunday, me and Jessica didn't have nothing to do. So we went over to uh, RC Willys because I was going to get some uh, washer and dryers for the flip property that we're doing. However, we came across uh, some furniture that she liked. And uh, we happened to purchase this beautiful furniture here. It's like a section and stuff like that. And there's total six pieces. So I, I felt like we got a good deal. And these guys uh, said they could deliver it this week, Wednesday. So they're here about 8.30 in the morning. And as you can see, there's all the pieces right here that uh, got delivered. Got a total of six. Got a total of six pieces. So I'm very excited about it because the furniture that we have, it is not that comfortable. However, one of the things that we had to do last night, we had to move everything here into the kitchen. And here is our living space. The cool thing about this is when the guy came here, he said to Jessica, did you guys just move in because this home looks clean? No, we've been here about like 10 years now. We just take care of our stuff, that's all it is. Man, I tell you what, that furniture came out beautiful. I am so in love with it. And I just wanted to say that, man, I'm so blessed that I'm able to purchase something like that for cash. Now, here's the thing. Keep this in mind. I actually purchased the furniture through passive income other than earned income. And what the difference is between earned income and passive income. Earned income is basically you're trading your hours for currency. Passive income is where you have your money working for you, that you don't have to do anything, and basically you're getting free money. That's basically what passive income is. So here's the thing. If you're in a position where you have some money, don't go out and buy like dumb shit like how I do. You know, take the money, put it back into your business until you can grow so big to the point where you're taking that money now you're utilizing that money by buying passive investment deals it doesn't have to be real estate you can invest in anything that gives you cash flow every single month then at that point go out and buy dumb things now here's the thing people want gratification right away it literally took me about almost 10 years to get to the position that i'm currently in right now you know some people may progress a lot faster my stuff is a little bit slower but look at the end of the day you will get to that position remember this take your earned income roll it over into passive income then spend the money All right guys, so what we're doing right now is uh, we are here in the city of Henderson, McDonald Highlands. This is one of the exclusive neighborhoods 
Uh, this home right here, we're gonna be doing a collaboration with Michael, the listing agent on here. This is a $12 million home, so if you guys wanna see the full video home tour, check this out on our first channel. You got homes getting built all up on this hill. Golf views, city views, I can't wait to get into this home. This thing is gonna be a banger. All right, guys, so this is actually Michael. Michael's actually the listing agent. So say what's up to everybody. How we doing? <laughs> <laughs> so we, we have this gorgeous home that he's gonna show us real quick. But this is that picture frame that I was telling you about. This is actually perfect. It almost seems like they, they built this for that. Wow, look at this. You got this little sinking little, I don't even know what you call that, but this is kind of cool. It's like a movie theater kind of chill pad. Oh, it looks like a Peter Lick. Yeah, it is a Peter Lick. Oh, nice. Button, Joe Burrow. <laughs> He's a big Ohio fan. Oh, okay, so that's what it is. For sure. Jennifer? Hi. Jamie. Oh, Jamie, sorry. Nice Jamie, you how you doing? Hi. Hi, babe. Pretty Hi. much. How are you? So, Jamie, you're the co listing agent? Am I the Pretty coach? much. Yeah. I mean, what does that mean, guys? Oh, yes or no? Lower. We're yeah. like a team. Yeah. Like, okay. And we're all family. Yeah. What is a co listing agent for all the viewers out there? We are, we're on a team, so okay. we work together, we network together, we're um, basically with Oliver Street. If he, if I have clients that uh, work for this house and vice versa, I don't know, I wasn't clear for that. I mean, that's, <laughs> we always well, that, that's a good description, you did it, good job. Okay, so let's do this, let's get on all the lights, open all, all the windows, all the blinds, let's get as much as light. Once that is done, I'll, then I'll brief you guys on exactly how we're gonna shoot this thing, okay. and we're gonna get rolling. Now guys, let me show you how beautiful this home is. Take a look at this living room, that's right. But most importantly, zero threshold, right? You have this sunken little living space. You're bringing the outdoor into your home. But take a look at this view. This view is completely gorgeous, unobstructed view of the Las Vegas city, that's right. It gets no better than this. Now, guys, this is the quality of life that you need to be living in, right? Do not settle for anything less. I mean, look how gorgeous this thing is. What do you think about this, Rudy? It's, it's ridiculous, man. Next level, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's in the perfect spot, look at this view. I know. I want to see it at night. Oh, that's fire. Oh, that is fire. All right, so guys, look, check this out. If you guys want to check out the full video home tour of this home, all right, I'll have a link in the description and also in the comments too as well. Or just check out our first channel, Chuck It's. That's right. Chuck It's Chris what? First channel. Here we go. Selling $12 million homes straight from Hawaii. That's right, baby. From Hawaii. <laughs> that's how we do it. So, let's talk about this problem. The first thing I walked in, my eyes are just completely drawn from the outside. So we have the pocket doors that right here, the 90 degree doors. So you have the sliders over here and then you have the sliders here. So entry is right. Inside the um, dining area, you have that floor to ceiling, which is gorgeous. So I can't wait to show you guys that. Would you say this is the most exclusive neighborhood here in the valley? Uh, a couple things I noticed about the uh, texture too as well. This is probably a level five finish on the texture. Obviously, this has never been used because look how clean this is. <laughs> and this is a seating for two, possibly three if you would like. If you look at this window right here, from floor to ceiling basically, and this just looks like a picture. Movie room, media room, movie theater where you can just entertain plenty of people. Again, the surround sound we were talking about earlier. So I love how it's their own separate area. That's so you great. walk through the office, again, windows throughout, nice, bright, and airy. And I think it's actually worth everything. What is the asking price again on this home? 11407 Okay, see, look, I just gave you guys a discount. I've been saying $12 million. Mm -hmm. see, Appreciate that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chuck, it's fine. <laughs> he was... But you know what? That's your job is to take all the well, feeding and the brooding, I know, right? I know that. That's All right, so what we're going to do is unbox this. I, I don't know what 
what this is all about, but for some apparent reason, I've been doing unboxing videos. I know this is stupid, but a lot of you guys like to watch the unboxing videos, so we're gonna do a quick unboxing. Another unboxing, here we go. What do we get here? What do you think we got, York? Plastic hangers. Plastic hangers, right? But there's a certain color, because I'm switching out the color of my hangers. Here it is. Red, baby. Go with your shorts. That's true. Okay, so that's that one. All right, here's another unboxing, guys. Let's get it. Oh, a box in a box. All right, let's see what we got. Look at this. I've been buying a bunch of shorts. What? <laughs> That's crazy. All right, let me go help you put all this away. <laughs> this is how I forget stuff, dude. Seriously. You just, dude, is it because I give you too much tasks? Well, you just gave me like four, right? Yeah. And, then, and then I haven't even started one. And, oh, don't forget this too. <laughs> <laughs> See, that. these guys can't keep up because I'm always moving, right? Always pivoting and profiting. That's what I do. All right, so update on our investment property on downtown. We had probably how many offers? Eight offers, right? Yes. Oh, you're just saying sure, sure, but I mean, how many offers did we have? Six or eight? We had a lot. A lot, yeah. But anyway. Nothing worth talking about. Nothing worth talking about. You're absolutely right. However, uh, we did get an offer in. I'm going to call the agent right now, and this is an offer that I'm okay with. But before I even accept this offer, there's certain terms and conditions that I actually want, okay? So we're going to call this guy real quick. Where's my phone at? Felix, what's up, man? How's it going? Good, good. What's up? Good, good. Hey, so regarding this offer right here, um, is this a primary buyer? Uh, primary buyer, um, not quite sure what you mean by that. Are they planning like, on uh, moving into the home? Yes, uh, owner occupied. Yes, they're looking to owner occupied. Okay, property, so, uh, so so here's here's a, a deal with this. It's not so much about the price for me. It's about the terms and the the condition. And I, I just want to make sure we're on the same page here. So we have tenants in place. There is no. Uh, lease in place. There's no deposits in place. Okay. It's just a basically shake hands. We get cash every month, eight fifty, right? The other thing is that I just want to go over this uh, offer that you had sent on over. Okay, uh, purchase price two sixty five. I'm okay with that. However, um, when it comes to uh, the inspections, we're we're not going to fix anything. You're just buying the property yeah, as is, where it is conditioned. So that's what I want right. you to be aware of. But however. If it's something like major and your client wants a cantel, I totally understand too as well. Also, in addition right. to that, I don't know if I mentioned this because I just totally forgot. Um, there's no security deposit. In addition to that, uh, the property is not going to be vacated. You're going to have to deal with the tenants after the closing. And 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 the reason why I'm doing this is because the last thing I want to do is have them vacate the property. This deal doesn't go through. Now I have an empty property that that doesn't cash flow me. All right, sounds good. So let me do this. I'm just going to counter you back on the terms that we talked about, so that way your buyer understands black and white the terms. Right. Well, once you guys accept it, then uh, at this point, we will lock up this deal. Okay, perfect. All right, thanks. Send it over as soon as I, uh, I get it from your key. Probably get it executed this afternoon. Cool. So I'll finish it tomorrow morning. All right, thanks, All brother, right. man. I appreciate Thank you, man. You. All right, be blessed. Have a good one. Take care. Huh? All right, bye. Thank you. All right, there we go. We got a deal, like I said. In today's market, what I'm looking to do is reposition. I'm trying to, I don't wanna say I'm trying to, I am slowly transitioning into liquidating my portfolio completely, just due to the fact that I would rather do that and sit on a few million dollars and go out into back into the marketplace. And instead of buying these condo single family detached homes, it's better just to have you know one investment property that has 20 30 40 units and that is actually the end goal and this is the only reason why i actually became a real estate agent to, to finally get to the finish line so finish line is almost there we're about to get there so i need to get i got to get this thing executed basically so all right guys we are about to get our podcast started if you guys haven't had a chance to check out the podcast it's every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is where we talk about real estate and also financing. We got a very special guest today. Paul, say what's up, man. What's up, guys? How you doing? Paul Gilroy here. That's Paul right. Realty. Also, we got uh, Dana here in the back, our what financing up? guy. Say what's up, Dan. What up, guys? What's going on? All right, so if you guys haven't had a chance to check out uh, this podcast, if you guys are in the market, 
as far as buying or selling a home. This is the only podcast here in Las Vegas where you're going to get up-to-date information. Also, um, shit, I lost my train of thought. That's pretty much it. So, every Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Check us out.